Sometimes, while a gadget might seem to be really well designed on paper, the execution just kind of falls flat in real life. Unfortunately, the Signet Speak Up, an optional speakerphone accessory for your iPhone or your Android or Windows phones, is one prime example of that. It's executed in a very poor fashion because of the poor materials and the kind of muffled sound quality that it produces, even though the concept behind it is very cool. And ultimately, it faces stiff competition with other uh, products that are quite similar, such as the Korean Pop Phone, which we also reviewed on our channel. Hi guys, here at osmvtxreviews.com. You're watching our full re video review of the Signet Speak Up. And this product, again, it's made entirely out of plastic, but it it's a great option for people that have a cell phone that kind of dubs as also their home phone because they don't want to pay an extra fee to, again, have another telephone line to use at home. So it creates the illusion of um, having a home phone and a cell phone in one. So it's, a, again, a pretty good solution for people that use their cell phone 24-7. As far as build quality, again, it's made out of plastic. We have two stereo speakers on other sides of the product for using the loudspeaker modes whenever you're plugging it into the product. This does not use wireless uh, options like Bluetooth. Instead, it connects via a traditional 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The product itself, again, it's originally designed for the iPhone, um, even though it supports other platforms. So you can see a 30-pin dock connector behind here if you have an iPhone. Also, it's not going to work with uh, every single Android device out there, because if you have phones with larger screens, like the Samsung Note, it's going to struggle to fit into the parameters of the actual universal bracket here. However, for the most part, you will find that your phones can be compatible with this product. Sliding the phone out of the bracket, you can see that what's holding it into place is a very sticky piece of soft touch material that provides a fair amount of resistance from the phone from falling out. On the uh, actual design part of the device, you can see there's a simple click key which allows you to swap back and forth between the loudspeaker modes and also using the tra traditional phone. Speaking of, the handset for the phone is made out of some uh, very poor quality. It's extremely lightweight and um, as a result, it's also very, very thin. The difficulty of this is if you place this phone um, on one on one side to your ear, on the other side to your shoulders, it's difficult difficult to actually get the product to stay in place properly. So it's not, uh, it doesn't have the greatest, you know, kind of build quality either. As far as the sound quality, it's a little bit tingy, uh, a little bit tinny on this other side of the receiver. And our uh, callers often thought that we were in a tunnel when we were calling them, which is quite disappointing. The other side also features the microphone itself, which again is also pretty disappointing because it offers generally mediocre quality in terms of the uh, picking up sound. The speakerphone fares a little bit better, and we'll see that in a moment. It's a little bit louder and offers a more richer tone, but it still is a little bit muffled in terms of sound quality. The, uh, ba ba uh, the back of the product is where you'll find all the ports, including the 3.5mm headphone jack, a power on and off switch, a volume control, and also an AC power jack if you don't want to use three AA batteries to charge and power the product. Um, again, with using the batteries, it means the product is more mobile, and in order, in order to kind of fixate on that feature, Signet made this product extremely lightweight. A downside to this is it kind of slides over tables and desktops uh, very, very easily. It doesn't have any rubber feet holding the, the base together on a surface, and doesn't provide enough resistance. So whenever you're calling someone, it's actually going to slide around, which is a little bit annoying. Taking a look at some basic uh, call quality and basically how the product works, it can also be a you know solid uh, choice if you are looking for something that you want to play back your music with. But um, as far as the original purpose of the product, which is to dub as a home phone and a good speaker phone, it kind of falls flat. We found that in our text uh, in our Testing purposes, actual playing back music itself wasn't so bad, but it's not going to be as rich, uh, evidently, as a traditional speaker, um, but it's, it works for the most extent. Um, playing back your songs is not going to be too bad. Listening to YouTube videos, you can hear the sound is not that bad at all. It's pretty rich and offers a better experience in your mobile phone, of course. But um, again, it's very, very muffled, so discerning distinctive words, it's going to be a, a difficulty point. So it's best suited for playing back music um, and listening to tunes rather than talking because you won't be able to discern out the individual words that someone is saying, which again is quite unfortunate. And again, the actual phone mode doesn't uh, do much better either because the, the sound quality, again, is pretty low, words are kind of slurred, and the microphone doesn't do a great job of uh, beating the one built onto your original product. Overall, it definitely looks like a cool conversation starter, and it's uh, nicely executed in terms of the, the design and concept. But as far as the actual product and how it works, it definitely falls flat. We're def uh, definitely disappointed in the Signet, um, you know, 
speakerphone for your Android or iOS device uh, in this instance. But we do like the concept. Again, it just faces too much competition and it has uh, not so great of a build quality to do what it originally advertised itself to do. However, we are you know kind of eager to see if Signet can bring out a better version in the future, perhaps a version 2.0 that can improve on the faults of this original product. So there you go, guys. At the moment, I don't think it's ready for prime time. But uh, if you are interested in something like this, definitely check out the K-pop, uh, well, not the K-pop, but the pop phone which is by a Korean manufacturer and it works I think better in terms of sound quality um, and it also is very similar in terms of the styling and kind of the interesting conversation starter design. Thanks for watching this video review here at OS and btxreviews.com and also our brother site at OS Tech News. This has been the Signet Speak Up mobile companion for your smartphone or iOS device.